Welcome to part 11 of the Fractal for Beginners series. This is part two of exploring the FM3's foot switches by special request. In part one, we looked at the first three layouts, presets, scenes, and effects, and how you can jump back and forth between them. In this video, we're gonna look at the six other layouts and see what you can do with them. This is what the FM3 looks like when it boots up. It boots into the preset layout. Now if we do a long press on the second button, it brings up the master layout menu. Actually, it brings up view one of the master layout menu. To get to view two, do a long press on the third foot switch. And as you can see, view two has channels, looper, and per preset layouts. One more time, and we get to the perform and utilities layout. And then to get back, a long press, a long press, and then we're back at presets. Open FM3 Edit and click on FC Edit. Let's check out the six remaining layouts. Layout four, this layout lets you switch between the first three channels in four different effect blocks. There are four views for this layout. View one has Amp 1A, Amp 1B, and Amp 1C. View two has Drive 1A, Drive 1B, Drive 1C. View 3 has Drive 2A, Drive 2B, and Drive 2C. And View 4 has Delay 1A, Delay 1B, and Delay 1C. The hold functions are the same for all four views. Prior view, Master Layout, and Next view. Layout 5, Looper. This layout has two views. View 1 has Record, Play, and Erase. View 2 has Once, Reverse, and Half Speed. And the whole functions are basically the same. View 1, Master Layout, View 2. We'll do a deep dive into the looper soon. Layout 6, per preset. This layout has four views, and they're all the same. The tap functions are all blank, with the function being placeholder. More on this in another video down the road. And the hold functions are the same for all four views. Prior view, Master Layout menu, and Next view. Layout 7, Perform. This layout has four views, with parts from other layouts included for ease of use on stage. The tap functions look like this. View 1, Scene 1, Scene 2, and Scene 3 from the current preset. View 2 has Prior preset, Blank, and Next preset. View 3 has Tap Tempo, Blank, and Tuner. View 4 has Drive 1, Delay 1, and Reverb 1. Now the hold functions are a little different for this layout. For view one, it gets you to presets, utilities, and effects. View two, view three, and view four go blank, view one, and blank. Layout eight is utilities. This layout has one view. Tap functions are tap tempo, blank, and tuner. Hold functions are blank, master layout, and blank. And the master layout menu. As we discussed before, this layout has three views. View 1 has presets, scenes, and effects. View 2 has channels, looper, and per preset. And view 3 has perform and utilities. The hold functions for all three views look like this. Prior view, blank, and next view. Let's check out the six remaining layouts. Layout 4, channels. This layout lets you choose between the first three channels and four effect blocks. There are four views for this layout. So view one has amp 1A, amp 1B, and amp 1C. View two has drive 1A, drive 1B, and drive 1C. View three has drive 2A, drive 2B, and drive 2C. View 4 has Delay 1A, Delay 1B, and Delay 1C. Layout 5, Looper. First view has Record, Play, and Erase. Second view has Once, Reverse, and Half Speed. We'll do a deep dive into the Looper soon. Now let's take a look at Layout 6, per preset. The tap functions are all blank with the function being placeholder, and we saw that in FM3 Edit. Now we'll take a look at the per preset layout in another video down the road. Layout 7, Perform. 
This layout has four views, with parts from other layouts included for ease of use on stage. Tap functions look like this. View 1, Scene 1, Scene 2, and Scene 3 from your current preset. View 2 has prior preset, a blank switch, and next preset. View 3 has tap tempo, blank, and tuner. View 4 has drive 1 on off, delay 1 on off, and reverb 1 on off. Oops, now I can't forget layout 8 now, can I? That's the utilities layout. We have tap tempo, blank, and tuner. And of course, layout 9 brings us back to the master menu. Now I know that was a lot of information and some of it can get pretty darn complicated, but it just goes to show you how versatile the FM3 is and just what you can do with three foot switches. If you still have some questions about some of the stuff, drop me a comment down below and I'll see what I can do to help you out. Now today is also the day that I announce the name that my wife picked out of the hat for the 2000 subscribers giveaway contest. Now be on the lookout for that video a little later on today. Now you don't want to miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right guys, have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.